Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreak.com coming at you with Jaspie's 10 box, another NFL Draft football mixer. It's a random team break featuring these boxes right there. Uh, there's also a bonus box not pictured, 2018 Donner's Optic first off the line premium edition. 2018 edition, not too shabby. These are the other boxes that are in there as well. The other box not on this list but on the picture is that Andrew Luck box right there. I think it's 2015 or 2016 Prism Football. All right. So there you go. So either either there's a bonus box. I think there's a bonus box. I think we priced it as a 10-box break, but you might have gotten an extra box. Anyway, there you go. Big thanks to none of those people right there. Big thanks to the teams. Big thanks to these folks. There is an early bird special here. Look at this. If you're one of the first 17 spots purchased, you get a chance to win an extra spot in this very break. The early bird catches the worm. So let's grab the first 17 spots right there. There's 17 right there. New dice roll, different dice roll than the main randomizer. 11 times. Name on top gets the early bird spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. And 11 the final time. Name on top is Garrett. Garrett Fontenot. Congrats to you. After 11, you are the early bird that has caught the delicious, delicious worm. All right, now let's randomize you a team, boys and girls. Let's roll it and randomize that list eight times, six and a two. One, two, three, four. And eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Barry Roberts all the way down to Richard. Let's go to a different tab right there. There we go. This is with the team list. Six and a two. Eight times for the teams. One, two, three. And I said eight, right? Yeah, eighth and final time. Kansas City down to Houston. There, I'm, that's there's Garrett. He's saying eleven was my baseball number, and you got the free spot. Ooh. All right. Well, so let's see what you got with your early bird spot. You got the Niners. So let's see what happens there. Barry Roberts, you have the Chiefs. Jeremy, 33, with the Buccaneers. Manny with the Eagles. Ryan with the Jags. Gary with the Cowboys. Josh with the Patriots. Greg with the Lions. Daniel with the Titans. Jeremy, 33, with the Colts. JC with the Cardinals. Charles Teal with the Bengals. John with the Steelers. Garrett with the Niners. Ryan with the Bills. Chris, you got my Raiders. Derek D with the Panthers. Rick T with the Ravens. Joe Clanton, Last Spot Mojo, Green Bay Packers. Josh Wilson, a couple Josh in here. Dolphins, Asa with the Giants, Anthony Pickett with the Saints, Rolando with the Jets, Cameron with the Falcons, Renee with the Seahawks, Scott with the Bears, Ron Wester with the Browns, Garrett with the Redskins, Cody with the Broncos, Ron with the Rams, Tony with the Chargers, Drew with the Vikings, and Richard with the Houston Texans. Let's get all this on one screen here. Let's alphabetize by team. Trade at your own risk, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, all sorts of different years in these boxes, you know. Don't be hoodwinked by the sharks in here who know their rookie classes and everything, so be prepared. I'm going to pause the video really quick, and when I come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then uh, we'll have the break. Be right back. And we're back. There was a lot of trade chatter, but but at the end, no, no deals were done. So the list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. Thanks for getting in, everybody. Appreciate it. All right, where, where should I start? I'm going to start with the most annoying box, which would be this Elite right here. Just because it's all those cello packs. So there's no checklist for this. So any hits that we pull out of here, any autographs we pull out of here, we're going to have to, uh, we're gonna have to look those up later. Some of them should be obvious, but not all of them.
Oh no, these ones aren't in, okay. These ones aren't, aren't that annoying because they are in the sense that they go backwards and forwards. But it's not packs within a pack. Like the cello packs, like the basketball ones. <laughs> And our packs inside a pack. NFL prime time. I need, to, I need to get some uh, uh, some music to play as a bed underneath the break, especially when I'm opening packs. You just need some exciting music. Uh, I I'll, I doubt all cards ship in a break like this. Traditionally, we don't. Let's look at the item description. No veteran base cards ship. There. 2020 rookies will be sorted to the teams they are drafted by at the time of the break. We will then randomize all of the non-drafted players at the end of the break in one lot. That really would only apply to this leaf metal right here. Oh, and the and this, the prism, the pink box right over here on the far left. Now that all the rounds are over, we know where they go. Which reminds me, do I have post-it notes here to mark? Yeah, I do. All right. So this, this is 2017. This is back in the day. Back in the day, like two years ago. Yeah, 2017, three years ago. There's Joe Mathis. So we'll look that up a little bit later, wherever Joe Mathis went. Joe Mathis ended that that's what Garrett's saying. Joe Mathis ended up with Seattle. That's probably for probably for Renee. And what about what about Josiah Price? I don't remember where Josiah Price went. In 2017. Although there's no checklist for this elite draft, at least on groupbreakchecklist.com, which is what we use. So our college rules dictate in this particular case for this box that they'll go to the team that they played for the longest if they're not active anymore or the team they're currently on. So those two guys will be where they're currently. You know what? I might as well just look them up after I go through all these. Let's find all the autos first. Josiah Price's name sounds familiar, though. There's two Prices here. A Juan Price. Brady Lacey. Kind of breeze who's, but still have you be able to see the names on the bottom because it reflects these elite cards reflect a little weird in the light. Oh, passing the torch will 
Aaron Rodgers be passing the torch to to Jordan Love? There's Gunnar Keel. Probably not a good sign that there, these are not readily recognizable names. All right, sometimes there's been some magic in this 2017 Elite Draft, but maybe not this time. All right, but they still need to have a home. This bear cat needs to have a home. Gunnar Keel was just went undrafted and did not even did not even end up with any kind of relationship to an NFL team. All right, so this goes into the undrafted lot, as you saw in the item description. There will be an undrafted pile at the end of the break. Hopefully, not too many. We all want we want to see we want to see everyone drafted. Um, let's see. We'll say Juan Price goes to the Rams. That's where he was. He only practiced squad for the Ravens last season. So I guess his pro career consisted of being with the Rams. Not that it matters too much for these guys who are not really doing anything. Rams, Ron Wester for what it's worth. Josiah Price. Are you still are you still active? I don't know if he's still active. Um, he went to Michigan State. As it says right here. I think Vikings was the, uh, yeah, undrafted free agent, ended up with the Vikings, got paid by them a little bit. Status, ter undrafted free agent, status terminated. That We're going to send to the Vikings. All right, and Joe Mathis. Where did you end up? He did the did the combine. I think the last team that he was associated with were the uh, were the Texans. So there you go. We'll, we'll give you we'll give you Houston there. All right, kind of a dud in that 2017 box, but we've got we've got assignments there. So uh, Rams, the Rams auto went to Ron, the, that Minnesota Josiah Price auto went to Drew Panner and the Vikings and Joe Mathis for Houston. All right, let's, let's, let's get this going here. When does, uh, when do you think Andrew Luck comes back, ladies and gentlemen? Where does he come back to? I say he comes back, not this season, but 2021. And Andrew Luck will go to, where would he go? What team would need a quarterback in 2021? The 
Patriots. Wow. So Patriots just marinate. So Patriots just spend this season, you know, getting the getting all these players, new players, new faces under the the Belichick way. Maybe they finish with a losing record, you know, and then they end up. Then they say, uh, "All right, we get a high draft pick, and then we'll take Andrew Luck as well." And maybe trade it to the Colts for Andrew Luck. Goes back to the Colts as Jared Nictor. Rivers only on a one-year deal. But didn't the Colts draft a QB, though? I don't know if they drafted him intending him to start in the next two years. but Anthony Pickett says Detroit. Right, I don't think they drafted a quarterback. All right, fourth round for the Colts, so... All right, all right. So maybe uh, maybe luck comes back, finishes out maybe a few more years, whatever is, however else plays a few more years, and then lets that. All right, there's Shane Ray, Broncos. That'll be for Cody and the Broncos. Rick Thomas saying Chargers. Well, they did. They drafted Justin Herbert. You know, pretty high. I think with the intent that he's going to be their 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 future starter. But I guess if Andrew Luck came knocking and wanted to play for a few seasons on my team, I'd probably say okay. <laughs> You're from Indy. Oh, okay. Jared Nick, that's right, from Indy. So maybe wishful thinking. I don't. I mean, I, listen. I mean, he he. Andrew Luck can do whatever he wants, but. I don't blame him for, for retiring either. You know, if he's just getting injured a lot, and it's got to be frustrating. It's got to be frustrating, and I get it. But I have a feeling, man. I have a feeling that he's got to come back and, you know, maybe gives it another go. There's Philip Dorsett for the Blue Horseshoes. Um... Tyler says, I say he doesn't come back. That's it's probably most likely. But I don't know. I, have a, I mean, it was just so abrupt. Like, I feel like it was just kind of like a, it almost seemed, you know, and I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't follow the Colts super closely. I don't know Andrew Luck's story very closely. I, I don't know that either. But from an outsider's perspective here in L.A., I, I just thought it just looked very, A, very abrupt. And B, almost like it was just out of almost like a knee-jerk reaction, out of a bit of frustration, either with the team or either with himself or both. You know that he was just like, "F it, I'm, I just need a, I just need to take a break, just a mental break for a little bit." <laughs> There's Des Bryant, patented penmanship, out of old Prism, going to Gary and the Cowboys. I don't know. Well, Jared Nictor, you're from Indy. What's the, what's the inside scoop? Do you, is is there an inside scoop? Like, was there misunderstandings between him and the team, or? And I don't think he retired because. I don't think he retired because some fans in the fourth quarter of a preseason game booed him a little bit. I don't think it was that. I don't think it was really that. You think he's just done, just kind of over it? What are fan? What are what are the what are the the blue horseshoe fans saying though? Are they saying like it's the ownership's fault or is it GM's fault? And Is, I mean, is what's local sports talk radio saying? Are they pointing fingers anywhere, or are they just saying, I guess he's just, I mean, is that, or is everyone just shrugging their shoulder and be like, I guess, I guess he was just over it? But Jared's saying for the locals, too, it, it came, it came pretty, it was unexpected. Gotcha. You're saying Grigson. 
built a crappy team before Ballard got there and then never protected, never ended up protecting uh, Andrew Luck. He gets banged up. He gets frustrated, falls out of love with the game and says, thanks a lot, guys. See you next time. All right, I mean, that's probably the most logical answer. Rookies and stars Tom Brady, just one off the jersey number, or two, three off the jersey number, 15 and 35. we got a dual relic, team duels. Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott for the Cowboys. Gary with that one. Speaking of the Colts, there's Peyton Manning. Man. That, that's got to be, I mean, as a, at first people were angry at, at Lux, says Jared, but after things out, most people somewhat understood. Plus, he's a bit of a, Oh, he just had a baby. Also still in town, at least part-time. Yeah, so maybe it's just... Yeah, looks like... He, I think you're spot on then, Jared. Like, just kind of fell out of love with the game. Just wasn't into that that grind just to get, get killed. But man, uh, Carson Wentz relic going to Manny. Um, airborne Kyler Murray. I mean, the Colts were... Colts were blessed to say the least, to get two generational franchise quarterbacks to, to, to get to them. It was amazing. You know, so, I mean, if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a Colts fan, yeah. I mean, this guy brought, brought some success, absolutely. But, you know, then you lucked into luck. Oh, nice Aaron... Oh, Aaron Jones. First, I, th I saw Aaron. I didn't even complete the sentence. Aaron Jones is nice, though. Um, statistical standouts, 6 out of 10, Aaron Jones. Two-color jersey and autograph for the Go Pack Go. Joe Clanton, Last Bot Mojo. So as a fan, I'd be pretty frustrated if I was just like, man, we got lucky enough to have two almost generational quarterbacks. Another Packer, Darnell Savage. Then he gets banged up and he's out there. Oh, people are more upset that you guys let Peyton go than they are for Luck retiring. I, make, I, I, can, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, and Tyler, Eli, I think. I, I agree with Anthony. I think Eli's, Eli's done. He, I mean, he was already kind of an – he was already aging out as a, as a QB. So those two Cardinals, Kyler Murray's go to JC, by the way. No, no Nick at night tonight, Kevin. So I'll be I'll be ending the show at my normal time, ten o'clock Pacific. In fact, this break is kind of kind of bring us almost to the end of the night. I'm gonna do a that quick two box break of Spectre that I know sold out, just because that's super short. But yeah, after this mixer and the two box Spectre, I I am donezos. You know what I'm going to miss the most about Andrew Luck, Jared, Nictor, is uh, is that Andrew? Do you see the Andrew Luck Civil War, uh, Civil War Twitter account? Like, like <laughs> it would be like a. Uh, it was an Andrew Luck Twitter. If you guys aren't familiar with this, it's worth looking up. It's pretty hilarious. If you're into, if you're into the, if you're into history, if you're into Civil War stuff, if you, you know. Then you're gonna and you're, if you're into football, and you like Andrew Luck, you're gonna think it's hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious too. Look at that, hilariously awesome. One of one, JJ Watt. But I don't know whoever did that. I feel like I'm a pr pretty pretty creative guy. I do a lot of creative things in my life, but but you know and oh, is that a plate on the back too? That's that's wild. Put together that that way. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's pretty cool. Richard S. Texans, and out of fives and under, get the all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. That's pretty cool. But yeah, the the if you if you look it up, it's a randomizer. It's pretty hilarious. It'll be it's, it was like written in the style of the old. It's like so. That's one thing that I personally wish that I could have done. That's something that I'm actually jealous about. I was like. 
I should have come up with that. There's a Jermaine Curse, 35 and 90, but it's written in the style of an old Civil War letter. Like, if you ever watch, like, uh, what was that movie with with Jude Law and uh, and the uh, Nicole Kidman? Cold Mountain, I think it was. And there's, like, the letters that she would write in that southern drawl. And that's how you would, like, hear it in your head. Seahawks, uh, that is... Renee with that one. It's pretty good. There's Noah Spence, Buccaneers to 199. Also, isn't it weird that in Cold Mountain that the leads are both non-American? Nicole Kidman's Australian and Jude Law's English. And Noah is a Buccaneer. Jeremy 33 with that one. 50 out of 50 is Tyler Boyd. Okay, I got to look up that Jacoby Brissett one. All right, out of uh, 2016 Black Gold, there's Dan the Man Marino, 13. Is that his jersey number? 13 out of 100. I think so. But if you kind of look, if, if you kind of take an Andrew Luck photo, you know, it's a randomizer too, um, and maybe put a put like an old vintage sepia tint on it from like one of those old 1800s era. This is no good. Come on, Ultra Pro. An old 1800 style photo. Could look like a, a, a Civil War general. There's Braxton Miller, jersey and autograph, sizable signatures to 225. Texans, Richard S. Texans box here, the one of one and then the RPA. Old Connor Cook, gold prospecting quad relic. Raiders, Christopher Masters. And we've got for the New York Football Giants, Sterling Shepard to 225. And that is for Asa. That was a good commercial. Well, no, Tyler, it was a bad commercial because I don't know what it was, what the, what he was pitching, but I do like that commercial where he pulls out his beard hair and tosses it in the air and says, "Luck is in the air." It's a bad commercial because I don't know what they were pitching. Um, what should we do? Should we do? Now let's go. Let's go there. Let's go over here. Let's go uh, passing the torch. Three autographs in here. Oh, oh, he heard us. He heard us talking about him. Andrew Luck. Colts, Jeremy 33. There's Philip Lindsay, another horse. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's all three horses here. Two horses. There's a horse team. 52 out of 99, Philip Lindsay. Sorry, I didn't even... Bad, poor reveal on this. Bad job by me. Uh, Broncos, that'll be Cody with the Broncos. Need more regular top loaders. I am a mess right now. What's going on? All right, so Philip Lindsay's passing the torch. Cody with the Broncos. 52 out of 99. There's another horse, right, or horse-related. Yeah, a horse team. Another horse team, 31 out of 99. Paris Campbell, rookie auto for Jeremy, 33. And then we got Leroy Jenkins. It's actually Leroy Jordan, 7 out of 25, torchbearer signatures for the Cowboys. Not Leroy Jenkins. Gary Harting with that one. 
And there's DK Metcalf, 35. Obsidian football. All right, so we got Christian Wilkins to 75, David Johnson, 50 out of 50. And Rodney Anderson's going to help us out here. Behind Rodney Anderson is his teammate, Joe Mixon. 005 out of 100, cutting edge relic for the Bengals, Charles Teal with Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. David Montgomery, 41 out of 50, triple relic, piece of the pigskin in the middle. Looks like mosaic material, it says. That'll be for Scott Corwin and the Bears. Forty-one out of fifty, and we've got another Colt, Dwight Freeney, Aurora autograph. Remember Dwight Freeney? That goes to Jeremy thirty-three in the Colts. Sixty six out of seventy five. Yeah, he's he was pretty good. Pretty good. Nice one, Jeremy thirty three. And then we got Terry McLaurin, Jersey and Otto. Nice one for Garrett and the Redskins. Some nice highlight reel plays for Terry McLaurin last year. He could be pretty pretty explosive here. 16 out of 150. All right, what about some X-rated football? XR. Anderson's to 125. And more Panini loved putting Andrew Luck on stuff. There's Alshon Jeffrey to 249. We got Darnell Savage to 199. And are these two hits or one hit? Alshon Jeffrey is an autograph. Two out of 25 for the Fly Eagles Fly. Manny Watts with the Eagles. And we've got Mike Williams. Maximal relic for the Chargers. Tony. Mike Williams will have a new uh, new QB thrown to him. Does Justin Herbert start the season? Which which of the first round here? Here's a question for for you to ponder. Which of the first round quarterbacks ends up being the starter of the remainder of the way, or do they start Week One and become the starter of the remainder? Joe Burrow? No, I, mean, I think they'll let and. Andy Dawson? I think they'll let Andy start the first few games. Tua? Tua's got... No, I'll bet they'll let Fitzpatrick start a few games. Who starts week one? Which, which quarterback first round starts week one? Herbert? Herbert? Maybe. Not Jordan Love. I think he's going to marinate behind Aaron, Aaron Rodgers for a little bit. Joe, Joe Burrow? Cam and, Cameron and Manny are saying. Starts week one. You saying bro takes over after week two, remainder of the way. I can see that. I sorry, it was a bad question. I got two. There's two questions. Who starts week one? Part one question, 
And part two question, who ends up starting the rest of the way and when? So Cameron Burrow after week two. So because they, they still have to address where what they're going to do with Andy Dalton, right? But maybe if Dalton's ineffective, because someone's going to end up doing the holding the clipboard. Eli Manning thing and take one for the team while they get the young player. I don't know, something like that, and then they'll work out a trade for him or something. There's Alexander Madison, nice. Triple relic and autograph, 193 out of 199. Ryan Redmond saying, Joe Burrow starts first game. He thinks Chargers do like Terod Taylor, so they may let they may let Justin Herbert marinate for a little bit. But I think I saw a stat in previous years that... that, that first-round quarterbacks almost always end up getting multiple starts. Always end up getting multiple starts in their rookie year. Like, like the, the, the theory being you don't draft a first-round quarterback without intending to, intending to start that player at some point soon, or at least seeing what you have in your first round. But yeah, maybe, maybe Terod Taylor lasts a little bit longer. Maybe Joe Burrow starts game one, though. There's Cody Core. All right, Tua is Tua, Tua's healthy allegedly, so Fitzpatrick a little bit, and then and then they'll switch to Tua for the rest of the way. Uh, Bengals Charles Teal by the way with the Cody Corp. Tyler Henneke, Vikings. So Ryan Redmond, when do you think? If we're going by that little theory there, when do you think Justin Herbert starts for the Chargers and then takes over the rest of the way? Or maybe it'll just be... It'll be interesting to see. I like, I like you know, three quarterbacks in the first six picks. That's hashtag good for the hobby. Bengals just got expensive. 2020 products. Miami Dolphins product just got expensive. Chargers got expensive for 2020 product. Andrews Pete for the Saints will go to Anthony Pickett. And we've got 24 out of 25. That's Joe Hayden. Two-color patch and autograph for the Browns, Ron Wester. All right. So we're going to do this first off the line. Then we'll do the medal. We're going to have to look up all the players. And we'll, we'll do the uh, Prism draft picks to close it out. And then we'll do those randomizers. Well, they gotta they're, they're, they gotta get rid of Rosen, right? Miami. So Redmond saying, okay, so after after Terod Taylor gets hurt, then boom, there here comes here comes uh, Justin Herbert. There's Marlon Mack. Cameron Shaughnessy saying Burrow's going to have to earn the job from Dalton. So they're going to keep Dalton around, huh? There's Traquan Smith, rated rookie autograph for the Saints. That'll be for Anthony Pickett. Does Rosen get another? See, that's why I thought that's why I thought once two end up there, Rosen's got to go somewhere else. There's Jordan Lasley, on card autograph for the Ravens. That'll be what Rick Thomas with this one. What if Rosen goes to sixty nine out seventy? What if Rosen goes to the uh, Patriots? Would they? Would they? Would there be Ryan Redmond's a Dolphins fan? Would they do like a divisional rival divisional deal? I mean, you guys wouldn't help the help the Patriots. Now, maybe that wouldn't work. But I feel like Josh Rosen. I can't even call him a bust yet. There's Bo, Bo Scarborough, twenty five for the Cowboys, Gary. Because I feel like he hasn't really. Like we don't know what he can be. The coaching staff that drafted him in Arizona got fired, and then the next guy that came in wanted to get, you know, got Kyler Murray. 
Then he gets shipped off to Miami, who was who were who were going to tank for a quarterback, you know, and they got Tua, fifth fifth pick. Cameron will take him, saying he will take him in Detroit, develop him behind Stafford. I feel like Rosen's got to get a fair shake somewhere, you know, before we can really evaluate what his what his career is. He's got to get a shot somewhere else, Jared Nictor, I think. All right. Chase Young, we know where he went. Washington Redskins, Garrett. That, that one I know. I don't even have to look that one up. Washington. Ryan Redman, you would consider trading him to a divisional rival, the Pats? You have traded with them before, like with Wes Welker, and you'll take the draft picks. All right. There's Jonathan Taylor, 34 out of 40. Uh, Colts, second round pick, 41st overall. Jeremy, 33. A, uh, a running back. So that could be pretty interesting. There's Albert Oke Ubanum. Three out of 25. I know he was drafted. He tight end um, for the Broncos. Fourth round pick. Um, Denver with know, I'm a little nervous as a Raiders fan. Next up is Brian Lewerke. 19 out of 30. I don't think he was drafted. Was he... Undrafted free agent go anywhere? No. All right, so this will have to be part of that non-drafted lot. This, this will go as a lot. Next player out of here is going to be J.K. Dobbins to 35. He got drafted. I know he did. Where He ended up with... I haven't memorized the entire draft. Ravens, that's right. That's a good pick. Um, kind of a mid, mid, late second round pick for Baltimore. Nice J.K. Dobbins. For uh, Rick Thomas and the Ravens. All right, now five more. Hopefully all of these are first rounders. That's what I want. All five autographs, first rounders. That's what I want them to be. All right, each pack should have an autograph. There's Tom Brady to 299. Michael Pittman Jr. And we've got Notre Dame. We've got Chase Claypool. I know he got drafted. Second round wide receiver going to Pittsburgh. There you go. Pittsburgh giving Big Ben some weapons, huh? For uh, for one, one, last, one last ride. One last hurrah. Oh, I'll help out the shipping team here. Let's mark these. Steelers, that'll be for John Hall. And and we'll we'll look these up, make sure these get to the right place as well. So same with Michael Pittman Jr., who I know was drafted high second round. Yeah, Colts. That was a good pick, Colts.
Deontay Johnson to 249. There's J.K. Dobbins again. And Washington, Hunter Bryant. The J.K. Dobbins not numbered. Hunter Bryant, rookie autograph. Did he end up anywhere? That name doesn't sound familiar. No, no, no Hunter is drafted. Not undrafted free agent. Well, three hours ago, the Lions landed promising Washington tight end Hunter Bryant, according to MLive.com and Detroit Free Press. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So for now, that's, that's, that's where he'll go until an official checklist comes out. We'll go to the team that he's currently on. That'll be for Greg and the Lions. Tom Brady to the Bucks to 199. Derek Brown to 249. And there's Charlie Werner. Didn't, didn't we have another Charlie over here? No, never mind. Maybe it's a different break. Charlie Werner was a sixth round draft pick. Tight end out of Georgia. Went to the San Francisco 49ers. Pick 190. That'll be for Garrett and his early bird spot. Two more to go and then some randomizers. It's Dan Marino to 299. There's Tua. And we've got Clavon Chasen. I know he was drafted. Drafted in the 20, 20th pick, first round 20th pick, linebacker out of LSU going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. 41 out of 75. And there's the two right there for Josh Wilson and the Dolphins. It's kind of wild that there's just not that many left-handed quarterbacks. Like, just ever. I guess they all get converted to baseball players. At a certain age, they're like, eh, maybe you should be a left-handed pitcher. You can make it into the pros that way. It's Derrick Henry. Jake Breeland to 149. And your final autograph of the break is going to be uh, Courtney Davis. Is there any courts here? Court? No, I don't think so. There is, I think, a a quarterman, but not a Courtney. Shaquille Quarterman was a Jacksonville compensatory pick in the fourth round. All right, was were you? Let's. Courtney Davis. Oh, four hours ago, according to the Houston Chronicle. Texas A&M wide receiver, Courtney Davis, spurns at Cowboys, signs with Vikings. Vikings beat out Cowboys in a bidding war for Courtney Davis, according to Yard Barker two hours ago. 24-7 Sports saying uh, Courtney Davis headed to the Minnesota Vikings. So there you go. So he was snapped up in a bit of a bidding war, apparently. So that goes to Drew and the Minnesota Vikings. Skull. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't see the big burrow, the big big autographs like that. We got the Chase Young, which was really cool, and the Tua Silver Rookie in his Alabama gear was really nice as well. So we'll get those to you. Now, 
couple different things going on, going on here. Let's randomize this in one list, that in another list, and then we'll randomize everybody's names to get those two undrafted players. All right, so let's get some new dice. The first one was the Quad Relic featuring Ezekiel Elliott, Derek Henry, Kenyon Drake, and CJ Proceis, Seattle. The next one was the uh, Winston and Mariota. Uh, that was 2016, like what, four short years later, and Mariota's on the Raiders, and Winston's probably looking for a job, looking for a job somewhere. All right, JC, Garrett, down to Garrett. Everybody has a shot at the uh, two extra cards. Who knows? They could be, tomorrow morning, we can wake up, and, and they, they could be undrafted free agents going somewhere, or at least Brian Lewerke could be somewhere. Who knows? One dice roll for all three lists. Good luck. A five and a two, seven times for each list. The quad relic first. Two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. There you go. After seven times, Tennessee will get that one. That'll go to uh, Daniel and the Titans. A little consolation prize there, Daniel. I don't think I called your number all break. Thanks for giving that a shot. All right. That uh, oh, and that was numbered. I was numbered to two forty-nine. The dual relic numbered to, uh, what was that, 63 out of 80. It's kind of a random number. Seven times. And seventh and final time after seven. Tennessee with that one too. All right, so another little consolation prize for Daniel Nelson. So that'll go to Tennessee. Thanks. And someone's going to get a group of these right here. Those two, seven times. Name on top gets both. After seven. Five. Six. And seven and final time. After seven, name on top is going to be Ron Wester. So, Ron, you'll get those two extra cards right there. All right, let me do a quick recap for you, too, since this is an hour-long break. took a little while. All right, so let's take a take a quick look at that at these. There's the Courtney Davis, the Tua rookie silver. That was the Chase Young right there, which was pretty cool. The redemption. And there were the rest of the hits. Alexander Madison was nice. Nice Terry McLaurin. Dwight Freeney was cool. Leroy Jenkins. Paris Campbell. Philip Lindsay. So nothing too earth shattering in this break. That was nice. One of one was really nice. The J.J. Watt. Aaron Jones. Couple Kylers. Some dual relics. But I uh, appreciate you, everybody getting into this and giving this a shot. Thanks so much, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Jazby's 10 Box, another NFL draft football mixer on a Saturday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.